Ismail Haniyeh led the political bureau of Hamas and was the prime minister of the Palestinian Authority in Gaza. In recent years, he lived in Qatar and hasn't visited Gaza in a long time. At 62, Haniyeh was elected head of Hamas's political bureau in 2017, taking over from Khaled Mashal. He gained fame in 2006 as the Prime Minister of the Palestinian Authority following Hamas's unexpected election victory in Gaza. Born in 1962 in a refugee camp west of Gaza City, his parents fled their home near what is now Ashkelon during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Haniyeh studied Arabic literature at the Islamic University of Gaza, where he became active in the Islamic movement. He graduated in 1987, participated in the First Intifada, and was soon arrested by Israeli authorities for protesting, receiving a short prison sentence. In 1988, as Hamas emerged as the leading resistance movement in Gaza, he was arrested again and imprisoned for six months. The following year, he was arrested again and sentenced to three years. After his release in 1992, Haniyeh and over 400 other Hamas members were deported to Marj al-Zuhur, a neutral zone between Israel and Lebanon, where he spent another year. Haniyeh returned to Gaza in December 1993 and was appointed dean of the Islamic University. In 1997, he became the secretary and right-hand man of Hamas's spiritual leader, Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, strengthening his position significantly. In September 2003, Haniyeh and Yassin were lightly wounded in an Israeli airstrike on a residential building in Gaza City. Six months later, Yassin was killed in another Israeli attack after leaving a mosque following morning prayers. Haniyeh led Hamas's campaign in the 2006 Palestinian elections, where they won 76 out of 132 seats in the Palestinian Legislative Council. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas asked Hamas to form a new government. However, coalition talks with the former ruling Fatah movement and other factions failed, and Haniyeh formed a government mainly consisting of his team and some technocrats. On February 16, 2006, Hamas appointed Haniyeh as Prime Minister of the Palestinian Authority, and he took office shortly after. Haniyeh urged the US and EU not to cut funding to the Palestinian Authority, emphasizing Palestinians' right to continue their struggle for independence, while expressing a desire to negotiate with international mediators. A year later, Abbas dissolved Haniyeh's government, but Hamas declared this decision illegitimate, and the cabinet continued operating, effectively taking control of Gaza. A bloody power struggle ensued, resulting in Fatah's ouster from Gaza. Despite this, Haniyeh repeatedly called for peace with Fatah. On May 6, 2017, Haniyeh was elected head of Hamas's political bureau. Days earlier, Hamas revised its charter, recognizing Palestine within the 1967 borders and identifying its main enemy as the Zionist Occupation Project. As the leader of Hamas, Haniyeh visited Russia in 2022, meeting with Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and expressing support for many Russian foreign policy positions. He also spoke before the State Duma and visited Kazan, meeting with Tatarstan's head Rustam Minikhanov. In 2018, the U.S. designated Haniyeh as a terrorist and imposed sanctions on him. The State Department stated that Haniyeh had close ties to Hamas's military wing and supported armed struggle, including against civilians. After a Hamas attack on Israel on October 7, Haniyeh appeared in a video with movement leaders in his Doha office, watching a report on Hamas fighters capturing Israeli military equipment. He then prayed in gratitude for the victory. In May this year, reports emerged that Haniyeh agreed to a ceasefire proposal from Qatar's prime minister and Egypt's intelligence chief. A senior Palestinian official told the BBC that Hamas expressed willingness to halt hostilities permanently if the agreement's conditions were met. However, no progress followed, and Hamas continued its operations against Israel. Ismail Haniyeh married his cousin Amal Haniyeh when she was about 16. He had 13 children, 8 boys, and 5 girls. In April this year, three of his sons were killed in Gaza by an Israeli airstrike, with the IDF stating that all were members of Hamas's military wing. Another son was killed in February, his brother and nephew in October, and his grandson in November. Haniyeh called his children and grandchildren martyrs and stated their deaths would not alter Hamas's stance in the ongoing ceasefire talks. Our demands are clear and specific, and we will not make any concessions. The enemy is mistaken if it thinks that attacking my sons during negotiations will push us to change our position, 
Hania told Al Jazeera, 